Now let's learn how to modify the coordinate system using a transformation matrix. Here you can see an overview of the different types of transformations that can be done. We are going to scale the reference frame using a matrix instead of the scale method. In the case of PyCaro, we cannot use a normal matrix, but we have to use the matrix class. In this file, we show the equivalent with a normal matrix and a Cairo matrix. So, if we want to scale the coordinate system using a matrix, we would do it this way. And if we want to translate the coordinate system, we can use this other matrix. With what we have learned now, we can use a transformation matrix to convert the default reference frame to the reference frame that Manum has. The first step is to normalize the coordinate system. The next step is to move the coordinate system to the center. Next is to change the direction of the y-axis. And finally, we have to rescale the axis again to get the desired size. In this way, we obtain the coordinate system with origin in the center of the screen with a height of 8 units and an aspect ratio of 16 ninths. Here is an additional example of how to draw a grid, similar to Manum's number plane. Finally, let's learn how to draw Bezier curves. In the case of PyCaro, to draw cubic Bezier curves you have to use the move to method to indicate the initial control point, and the curve to method to indicate the two handles and the final control point. It is for this reason that Manum uses cubic Bezier curves to construct the vector objects. We will come back to this when we study Veeam objects. Now let's analyze the source code of Manum. As we saw in a previous video, the Cairo statement in Manum is in the camera file. We see that, basically, Manum is using the same code that we have deduced to change the reference system. Here Manum is using an extra line, it is not necessary to use the scale method here. If there is any Manum developer who knows why this line is there, please explain it to us. If we remove this line nothing will happen. We can experiment a little, if we change the sign of this line, then it will invert the y-axis. Manum also allows you to change the origin of the coordinate system, that is the reason for the code here. As we have seen before, in addition to using Cairo to draw shapes, Manum also uses the pixel array to manually manipulate each pixel. For our first version of Animated, we are going to use Luxor, with Julia, which has more features, but it is a good idea to get more familiar with PyCaro. In the next video, we will learn how to use the PM objects, and we will also modify the source code of Manim with what we have learned so far. As a special offer, I remind you that you can buy my two professional Manim courses for only $50, that is, the basic and intermediate course. The basic course costs $30 and the intermediate course costs $40, but if you buy the bundle, you can get both courses together for only $50. In case you have already purchased the basic course and want to buy the intermediate course, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to get $10 off only the intermediate course.
These offers will be valid until June of this year.